All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 21. We're solving two-step word diagrams using uh, tape diagrams. Um, and again, these the models that we're going to be drawing with the tape diagrams are not written in stone. There's not one way, one perfect way to do it. Uh, the idea is to provide one option for the students to follow, and if they come up with their own slightly different ways, more power to them. In general, the students are going to be following uh, something very similar to the read, draw, write method. They're going to read, they're going to discuss, working in groups of four, by the way. Then they're going to model it. As a team, they're going to continue discussing it, see if they agree. Then they're going to write the equation, and then go back and look at their answer to see if they agree with it, and then see if they can write their answer in a complete sentence. And then finally, they're going to, and here's the biggie, prepare a presentation to share with the rest of the class. So here's an example uh, from the homework, which of course they won't be working in groups. Tina eats eight crackers for a snack each day at school. So there's our one piece of information. On Friday, she drops three and only eats five. Write and solve an equation to show the total number of crackers she eats during that week. Well, we know that this is eight, and this is eight, and this is eight, and this is eight. Oh, but this is going to be five. So if we wanted to write an equation, there's a couple of options for third grade. We could say, well, four times eight equals 32. And we have one group of five, that's five. And then 32 plus five equals 37. So that's one way uh, students could write the equation, in which case they would put a 37 right here. Another way they could have done it is they could write it all as a single sentence. Four times eight plus one times five. That's one way to do it. Another way they could have done it is said four times eight plus five. Any one of these three equations would be perfectly fine. This is, of course, a system of equations, or like a series. And then this is a little bit more official and concise. In either case, we know that there are 37 crackers that Tina eats. In our last example for this video, Mr. Wynn plays, uh, plants 24 trees around the neighborhood pond. He plants equal numbers of maple, pine, spruce, and birch. And he waters the spruce and birch trees before it gets dark. How many trees does he still need to water? So there's our big question. So first we're going to go back and we know he has 24 trees and there's four kinds. So basically, we need to do 24 separated into four groups. So here's our 24 trees. And then each group is how many trees? Well, we can see that, oh, that's going to be six in each. So there's going to be six maples. Six pine, six spruce, and six birch. Now, he waters the spruce and the birch trees before it gets dark. So that means he's watered the spruce and the birch. So the question is, how many does he still need to water? That would be these two groups right here. So he still needs to water 12 trees. So that's our answer, is that he still needs to water 12 trees. Uh, here's our, we've drawn it, we've labeled it. It's all looking good. If we wanted to try and write that as an equation, uh, it doesn't ask us to, but we could. We could say, well, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. And then, oops. Uh, I'm going to erase that there. And then we did 6 times 2 to get 12. And then we did 24 minus 12 equals 12. 
So that's a series of equations of what we did. First we divided to figure out how many types, how many trees of each type. We multiplied by 2 to figure out how much he watered. And then we subtracted to tell us how much he still needs to water. If we were really crazy and we wanted to try and put that all in a single equation, ooh boy, that would be fun. We could do 24 divided by 4. Take that answer, multiply by 2, and take that answer and subtract it from 24. So, oh my goodness, that would be the official, for your really high-performing kids, that would be the official equation. 24 minus 24 divided by 4 times 2. And there you go. And that is lesson 21.